Hello everyone, welcome back to the classroom. Now in this class what we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about the very new concept or very new chapter that is all about strategic management. So what is strategic management, managing the strategies and what is strategy? Strategy is not a new word for you guys. You have been making strategies from your childhood itself. Oh really? How that can be? So first of all, when you people in your childhood, when you guys need a cycle, like you were making a strategy. You people used to make a lot of uh, you people uh, like Acha Kitno go school nine janother. While we people used to avoid going to schools, we people used to make a particular strategy. Well uh, our mom used to say, Urja, Urja, oh come on, baby, wake up, right? Just like that, our mom used to call us. Urja Sora. Now moving on to next, after that you people tend to be like are the way too many. I'm, I'm not feeling well. My stomach is paining. I cannot go to school. So you are making a strategy, right? After that, what happens? After that, just like that, your cab used to arrive. After that, the school cab used to leave. You were like, you are perfectly fine, right? After that, you people started making strategies. When you people were needing a vehicle, that can be a cycle, that can be a bike, that can be a scooty, that can be a car, whatever you call it. So, usko lene ke liye bhi you guys have made a particular strategies. Aaj ghar jaunga, khana nahi khaunga, din din tak. After that, they will tell me, okay, kya chahiye? Mere ko bike chahiye. Right, after that, such kind of things will be given to you. So, after that, once you people went into colleges or once you people are over here, you people have made a strategies. Everybody in life, they, they, do, they, have, they do have a crush, right? So, looking at your crush, you were planning a lot of things, right? After that, she's going to come, I'm going to do like this, blah, 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 so many things. So, you have been making strategies from your childhood itself. So, strategy is not a word. And how you are going to manage those strategies, that is all about strategic management. Now, let's go ahead, let's talk about the rest of the things. So, what is this is going to be our topic for the day, strategic management that how we are going to particularly deal with the strategic management so the, before moving to the strategic management there is a term known as strategy so what is a strategy so if i talk about any of the businesses that can be any of the businesses if i talk about so what happens if it comes to any of the business that business do carry some of the objectives and in order to achieve those objectives a business a business each and every business tend to have tend to have scarce resources the resources are not like that they are unlimited no everybody has limited resources or you can say scarce resources the limited or the limited quantum of resources available with them right so and they have to apply their resources so that in such a way so that they are going to achieve the objectives right they are going to achieve the objectives now, moving on to next, what are going to be the features of the strategy? What are going to be the features of strategy? Features of strategy. So, this is going to be like, it is important for oversight, important for foresight, for forecasting, which you guys have basically covered maybe with me as well, for important for foresight. If I'll tell you that we need to look after a period of 10 years, then what is going to happen? Where you see after a period of where you see yourself after a period of 10 years. Right? So that is a strategy. You have to make a strategy. Just like that, you people tend to make a timetable. Right? Timetable banato. You are over there and making strategies as well. So strategies give you a vision. A vision, vision, and objective. What is the difference between all of them? That is also what we are going to cover in this chapter. So, importance for foresight and uncertain events. Uncertain events can be basically, you can have a roughly estimation that these kind of uncertain events we are going to face in the near future. It deals with long term operations. It deals with long term operations so if i'll talk about that my aim when i was a student my aim was to be a company secretary so in order to be a company secretary i have prepared a strategy 
that what I'll do, I'll stop using you using my mobile phones. I will not talk to anybody else. I mean, I'll straight away focus on to only and only on to my studies. So that deals with the long term operations rather than on routine, rather than on routine operations. It doesn't matter that what I'm doing on a routine basis. The strategy used to focus all the time on the long term operations. Right after that, strategy is all the time associated with, created with behavior of customers and competitors. But how your customers and your competitors used to behave? So if there is no competitor in the market. You do have a different strategy. You are carrying a monopoly competition. Monopoly, not monopolistic. So you are carrying a monopoly competition. You do have a different strategy. You are looking forward to expanding your product. And in case if you have only a limited amount of customers, and then what will you do? You are going to satisfy them up to that extent that no one can ever be. Right? Well defined a roadmap of organization. Why it is termed as roadmap of organization? Because it tells you each and every time about the mission, vision, direction of the organization. By looking at the strategy, you can find out that what is our, what is our mission, what is the vision, and what is the direction of the organization. What is the direction of the organization? Right. So these are the things which are associated with strategy. Now moving further, talking about the strategic management. Now moving ahead, talking about strategic management. Now what is strategic management? The word strategic management. When it comes to strategic management, now there are numerous definitions which have been given by different different authors. So when it comes to strategic management, I'll tell you one of them, and after that I'll conclude them. Okay. So it's a stream of decisions. It's a stream of decisions and action, which leads to and actions, which leads to development of effective strategy. development of effective strategy to achieve objectives so this is all about that how you are going to manage the, your decisions and your actions for the overall achievement of objectives you are going to achieve your objectives right for that there are a lot of decisions which are required to be complied so you are going to make first decision then you are going to make second one then you are going to make third one then fourth one in the in the same phenomena what is going to happen you are going to achieve your objectives so first of all jaise kya hota tha na beta ek hero hota hai ek hero hota hai hero kya karta hai when heroine used to come when heroine used to come, he used to look after. He used to basically look after that. Yes, I'll be waiting at this bus stop. Is bus stop to go? I'll be over here. I'll wait for her. I'll board the same bus. Once the bus will arrive, she'll come at the bus stop. After that, the bus will arrive. Okay, let me make the bus as well. This is the bus. Now the bus will arrive. Both of them are going to board into the same bus. Jesse, who bus me chadega? He's going to give the girl. He is going to give the girl a particular love letter. So these are the strategies he has made a particular sequence just to achieve his objective. Uska objective kya hai? Taaki wo haan kar de bas, right? So strategic management. If I'll talk about strategic management. Now I'm concluding the definition. There are numerous definitions which have been given, and definition do not ever forms a part of the actual examination. Strategic management is considered as as uh, either Decision making or plan. Decision making or like 
plan right so why that is done for a particular set of activities for set of activities related to for set of activities related to formulation and implementation formulation and implementation of strategies of strategies to achieve objectives right so it is a set of activities for which you are framing them just to achieve your objectives each and every time every business tends to achieve their objectives by making a particular strategic management that how you are going to manage your strategies moving on to next what is over there as an advantage if i'll talk about advantage of strategic management it discharges the board of directors discharges the board responsibility whatever the responsibility that board possesses if you have made a strategic management you know about the sequence of operations you know about the decisions you know about the policies so it discharges the responsibility of board of directors once the particular thing has which has been laid down jo aapne kaha hai agar aap usi ke according chal rahe hain to aapne ek management bana liya hai now you don't need the responsibility of board and it forces an objective assessment each and every time you will be getting an objective assessment okay because each and every time if i'll talk about management management used to think about management do not have only the time to think about day to day activities if management will be busy in thinking about day to day activities every time then what is going to happen management will not be able to focus on the long term activities because it but it is really important to focus on the long term activities to take a step back from the day to day business and think about the future of the organization that means objective assessment is all about thinking about future that where you be you are going to stand after uh, all day after 5 years after 10 years provides framework for decision making framework for decision making so strategy basically provides a vision for future If I talk about strategy, strategy being a long-term object, being a long, being a long, which talks about the future, it's it always gives you confirms the purpose and the values of the organization. It sets the objectives and clear all the threats, whatever the business, whatever the threats which are there into the business. It clears the opportunities. Yet yes, after this much time, we are going to have this opportunity. इतने time के बाद हमें ये opportunity मिलेगी और इतने time के बाद हमें ये खतरा आने वाला है. after that it moreover it supports supports understanding and buy in this heading does not relates with the buy in or hire purchase it totally relates with that when it comes to a particular business that why if a direction has been given why that direction has been given why that direction has been basically selected what are the associated benefits each and everything is over there into strategic management if you have given a particular direction right if you have given a particular direction then it supports that understanding because you have all the time your vision clear enables management enables measurement of progress measurement of progress so each and every time if i talk about strategic management na it focuses on the organization to set objectives to set objectives for the long term so first of all it is really really difficult for an organization to basically find out that what is basically critical towards the success of the organization after that there what the management basically do let us write something pata chale main sirf bol hi raha hu bachche ko samajh hi na aaye kuch 
management basically focuses on identifying that what are going to be the critical measures critical measures what are going to be the critical measures when it comes to a particular business and you are going to place the critical measures in front of board that yes sir we have these critical measures and there are the probabilities where whereby we might get failed right after that it also provides organizational perspective provides organizational perspective now moving on to next should i go ahead yes please follow it da moving ahead. now some there are some disadvantages as well when it comes to strategic management if i'll talk about strategic management strategic management do carries some of the disadvantages also some of the disadvantages yes because strategy making strategy um, strategic management is not a basically a work of which can be done by even a single person so the first each and every time strategy relates to future guys so when it comes to future future is or future doesn't not unfold as anticipated because future being uncertain you don't know if you are making a prediction that after a period of 5 years that you will be a professional this might can happen that after a period of 5 years you are a professional plus you are married now what now what you will do shaadi ho gayi hai aapki do bachche hain aapke aaj se 5 saal ke baad beta wo papa papa keh rahe hain aapko now what is going to happen you don't know about future right it requires so when it comes to a particular business so organization which looks after the future in order to develop plans it's not an easy understanding it's not easy because future being uncertain you don't know that what is going to happen just like that note bandi hui thi desh mein demonetization took place such kind of measures can be over there nobody has expected that such kind of things are going to happen but still still there are a lot of other things as well so future after that it can be expensive because when it comes to strategic management when it comes to strategic management there are very few people into strategic management very few very few okay and it takes all the time business used to hire i mean uh, some kind of consultants from outside business they used to make a particular strategy and they used to charge like they used to charge like by saw it's a very huge amount and moreover it impedes flexibility impedes flexibility so each and every time if i talk about an organization it's really frustrating to choose from if you have been given a lot of opportunities so just like you guys were there in 12th class right you passed your 12th class you have been given a lot of options ca cs cm so teen options aapke paas diye after that you belong to commerce mba or uh, bcom this option has been given or else llb a lot of options were were given to you guys so what happened you choose to be a professional and selecting them which was really really difficult so ability to choose among the opportunities is a lot of times that turns out to be frustrating now moving on to next long term benefit long term benefit versus immediate results so strategic management they are basically designed each and every time to give the business a long term benefit okay so looking at the strategic management and you basically know about there can be an immediate crisis just like i told you guys about i mean note bandi that is demonetization there can be an immediate crisis then what is going to happen then what is going to happen because each and every time we are focusing on the long term benefits and the future is uncertain as i told you guys again so i mean it's uncertain there can be an immediate crisis just like that the whole taxation system in india got changed that is gst gst came into picture now you are not required to intimate to each and every body so you are just required to intimate a single person that is gst what was that that was a sudden change in the external policies that what that leads to that leads to a turn which basically turns out to be a whole strategic management turns out to be into to all of them went to way so now moving ahead now i'll talk 
talking about strategic management. Strategic management framework. If I talk about strategic management framework, there are basically five stages which are associated over there. There are five stages which are associated when it comes to strategic management. So, first of all, you need to identify that what is your present situation. That means, what is your present situation? Where you are standing at present? Where you are standing at present? That means, what is going to be your strength? What is your weakness? Then again, it's going to be what is your opportunity, comma, what is your threat, what is your threat. Now, moving on to next, after thinking about that, so first of all, you need to know about your present situation, that where are you guys standing, right? After that, moving on to next, that where you want to go, what is going to be your mission, vision, goal? What is going to be your mission? What is going to be your goal? Where your company wants to be? What are going to be your objective? That means, where you want to go in future? To go future. Ki future may aap kaha jana I mean, where you see yourself after a period of 5 years. Or where you see yourself after a period of 10 years. So, right, after that, first of all, you are going to look after your present situation. After that, mission, goal, objective, what are their meanings? I will tell you each and everything about them, okay? After that, in order to achieve your objective, you are there to achieve your objective. In order to achieve your objective, you do have different alternatives available. Different strategic alternatives available. different different strategic alternatives which are available now which alternative you are going to select right which alternative you are going to select and on which basis you are going to identify so there are different alternatives after that you are going to select the best alternative select the best alternative which basically fits your requirements and which is as per the your requirement and which will help you in achieving your group achieving your goal into the future. Select the best alternator with strength of organization. With strength of organization. After that, now what is going to happen? Then after making a particular selection of the best alternative which fits your requirements and which will help you in making your product grow. Then when it comes to the next stage, it talks about implementing the alternative. The alternative which you have selected over here, you have made a selection of, of, of the best alternative that you are going to implement and implementing and executing of selected alternative of selected alternative right now moving ahead moving ahead so this is going to be a framework of how strategic management is going to work how you are going to basically look at the situation first of all look over here where you are basically standing after that look at your that where you want to be in future after that you will find that there are going to be different different options available after that you have selected one of the options and start implementing the option which you have selected now what is going to be if i talk about sm strategic management it do has an importance it do has an importance so what is going to be the importance it discovers, it discovers organizational strength and weakness. It discovers organizational strength and weakness. It 
what is going to be the organizational strength what is going to be the weakness and after that it also identifies possible weakness and threat so there is an analysis named as swot strength weakness threat and opportunities strength and opportunity just a moment let me correct it beta let me correct it tum logo se baatein karte karte na galat ho jata kai bar strength and opportunity what are the opportunities which you are going to get in future right after that weakness and threat after that what is going to be the next advantage it provides vision it provides vision or vision or you can say direction to direction direction to whom sir it provides direction to future of organization that where you should go what is going to be your direction where you should find yourself after a period of 5 years 10 years or whatever that is right after that build a dynamic and strong organization build a dynamic and strong organization then helps to achieve helps to achieve growing and stable organization right so this is going to be all over the importance of strategic management okay and after that there can be one more over there this that is to implement changes implement changes to overcome weakness to overcome weakness so every business do have some kind of weakness so har ek ki ek weakness hoti hai beta aapki kya hai aap jante ho everybody do has a strong subject everybody do has a weak subject so when it comes to weakness how you can overcome them you have to make some necessary changes so what are those changes so now we are moving towards the but that what is going to be the uh, process of strategic management sir process padha to na 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 this is framework this is framework framework means that what are going to be the parameters ठीक है एंड आफ्टर दैट हाउ दैट इज गोइंग टू वर्क दैट इज ऑल अबाउट द प्रोसेस दैट व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द प्रोसेस ऑफ स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट हाउ द स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस विल बी कैरीड आउट स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द प्रोसेस राइट सो स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट इज बेसिकली देयर आर टू मच स्टेप्स व्हिच आर इन्वॉल्वड सो व्हेन इट कम्स टू दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस एवरी स्टेप रिक्वायर्स सम एक्सप्लेनेशन एज़ वेल let's move on to the process that we have so this is the very first step which involves the identifying or defining the business mission that what is your mission the what is the purpose of framing this so you have started a business right the business should have a particular purpose a particular mission or an objective till the time you guys don't know about that what is the meaning of these three words for the time being please please Now, please wait for some time. We'll come to know about the meanings. Okay, so that means what does that mean? That what is basically what is the logical starting point? What what is the logic behind behind starting business? Logic behind starting, and why they basically laid down such kind of foundation? Just like Diru Bhai Ambani, Diru Bhai Ambani, the founder of Reliance. he basically he has a vision that every har ek hindustani ke hath mein mobile hona chahiye every indian citizen should have a mobile phone in their hands during at one day that was his vision right so what is that vision so after that environmental analysis is carried out environmental analysis take place in internal environment of business and external environment of business as well and external environment of business as well. First of all, how it carries out? It identify the changes. It identify changes. After identifying the changes, it presents 
present and future threats. It identifies that what are the present and the future threats and what are the opportunities available. Threats and opportunities which are available. So, due, during this due diligence, during this diligence, during this, I mean, the total, whatsoever the analysis which has been carried out relating to the internal and external environment, we come to know about, we have to identify the changes. Beta, if I talk about 2010, if I talk about today, so is there any change? There are a lot of changes, right? At present and future, you are going to identify that what are the threats of the business and what are going to be the opportunities for the particular business. And after that, you are going to do an assessment. You are going to do an assessment related to your strength and weakness that what is going to be your strength and what is your weakness a business should be totally affirmed with that what is going to be your what is your strength and what is your weakness so just like when it comes to every topic or every subject you do have some strength points and you have you do have some weakness value points right should i go ahead so revise organizational direction over here, what we have done is, is we have just identified the things. And over here, what we are going to do, we are going to do the revise organizational direction. That means we are going to do a SWOT analysis. Right? What is SWOT analysis now? Strength. S for strength, W for weakness, O for opportunity, T for threat. This analysis is carried out when it comes to step number three. When it comes to step number four, we used to look after what is the alternative choice. Many alternative strategies are basically formulated on the basis of the options which are available. And after that, alternative strategies, they are ranked on the basis of this SWOT analysis. There are many alternative choices. So on basis of SWOT, we used to give them a rank. On basis of SWOT, they are they are ranked. They are ranked. Ranking is done on the basis of SWOT analysis. Right? After that, what happens? You a strategy that strategy is properly implemented. So implementation of strategy is brought into action at the very fifth step. Moving on to next. While making an implementation, you should have a clear vision. Clear vision and idea of and idea of competitors competitors strategy. Organizational structure. You should be aware about your business. Moreover, you should also be aware about that what kind of basically idea, what kind of vision, what kind of organizational culture, what kind of skills of managers do the competitors carry. In order to be a good business competitor, you should have a proper idea that how, what kind of things that your, does your competitor carry. Now, moving on to next, the final step for strategic management is strategic evaluation and control, which talks about the monitoring, which talks about the monitoring and evaluation, and evaluating SM process in order to improve it and to ensure that it functions properly. So this is the total phenomena about the strategic management process model. So when it comes to strategic management process, these are the things which are required to be written in the examination. Okay. Moving ahead. This is strategic management process. Okay. Please make sure that you guys do not make any kind of blunder in this. Now, moving ahead. Now, we are going to talk about that we have heard three words. So, first of all, I'll be talking about vision. Vision. Vision is basically a statement of future. That a statement of 
फ्यूचर राइट विजन मिजन ऑब्जेक्टिव दे आर नॉट बेसिकली विजन इज अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फ्यूचर एंड इट इज वेल सेट दैट अ ग्रेट विजनरी a great visionary can see can see can foresee can foresee in future can foresee in future in advance in advance and take steps and take steps accordingly to be at front accordingly to be at forefront so it's all about that you can a great person a great visionary uh, what you used to call it a visionary means a person who can look after the future who can predict that yes these things are going to happen into the into the near future if this strategic management is adopted इसका मतलब ये नहीं है दोस्तों कि अगर आप पंडित जी के पास गए पंडित जी ने कहा दोस्तों आपको एक काम करना है बेटा क्या काम करना है अब आधे से बच्चे ज्यादा इधर देखते रहते हैं मेरा बैग रखा हुआ है यार राइट सो नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो पंडित जी ने कहा बेटा इफ यू आर अगर तुम मंगलवार को जाओगे हनुमान जी को प्रसाद चढ़ाओगे तो तुम पास हो जाओगे so pandit ji can see future pandit ji can see future he is challenging you if you are going to basically if you are uh, at on every tuesday if you are if you will go to a particular temple and if, if you are basically uh, follow if you are if you will start following the practices which are which the pandit ji has said then he basically tells you after a period of 2 years you will be a professional right so just like that pandit ji can see the vision pandit ji will tell you that after a couple of months नहीं यू हैव डन समथिंग हमने तो सही बताया था आपने कर दिया कर दिया राइट सो नाउ मूविंग अहेड मेहनत से करो काम पंडित जी कुछ नहीं करेंगे सो लेट मी मेक अ कंक्लूजन ओवर है सो विजन कैन बेसिकली प्रोवाइड अ रोड मैप टू कंपनी फ्यूचर रोड मैप टू कंपनी फ्यूचर इट्स अ रोड मैप टू कंपनी फ्यूचर दैट वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू बी इन नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स टेन ईयर्स right vision indicates kind of companies management is trying to be in future management as trying to create for future trying to create for future that what are you basically moving ahead to try to create for future and it also specified about company's intention company's intention and capability to adopt new technology to adopt new technology new technology after that it also specifies management policies it also specifies management policies towards management policies towards customers and societies and societies right now moving forward now moving forward so it talks about the management policies which are towards the customer and towards the society so when it comes to vision let me show you something so beta look over here as we were talking about the vision na this is the vision of infosys infosys ka naam suna we aim to be globally respected and sustainable company the circle of responsibility what are going to be the focus areas this is the whole design relating to them as well na economic performance innovative research community outreach now they have also basically released a pdf relating to the vision 2050 so what the company is going to do in the future that is all about the vision the new agenda for business this has been released relating to keeping in mind the sustainable development because being every business do have limited resources first of all it carries the details of each and everybody who whoever is so that is basically to which uh, i mean uh, this is not a current one but still that has been released long back ago but So, book as to usual outlook 2050. Now, 
this is this is the date from where the vision starts so you can write any i mean you can pause anywhere you can read any of the paragraphs whatever you like you can simply google about the vision of infosys you will get all the necessary details from there so this is the vision in 2050 some 9 billion people live well and within the limits of the planet right so this is one of the vision so what does the article says in 2050 some 9 billion people live well and within the limits of the planet the global population has begun to stabilize mainly due to education and economic empowerment of women and increased urbanization more than 6 billion people two thirds of the population live in the cities people have means to meet their basic human needs including the need for dignified lives and meaningful roles in their communities so such kind of visions to do each and every business carry so this is the vision of infosys right how the, how they are going to achieve it how they are going to achieve it what is going to be the pathway this uh, i mean you guys have uh, uh, what you guys have learned a road map road map to that particular point so you have written over there na a road map this is the pathway to company's future theek hai so we, they were talking about future they were talking about 2050 and they have started taking their steps accordingly right should i go ahead yes please well we talk now we will talk about vision vision carries like nahi nahi nothing has happened now i'm just trying to basically change the environment nothing has happened so the very first is when it comes to basically finding any of the vision statements there are three elements which are required to be focused upon that first the very first element is that what business the company presently is in the company presently is in which which business company is there because if i'll talk about infosys or else if i'll talk about patanjali both of the visions are going to be different after that so using the mission statement using the mission statement and after that where we are going we are going where we are supposed to go where we are going for which direction we are going and after that the communicating about it should be in a clear and committed term that should not be like that yes you have made a vision but you are unable to complete it so that should be in clear and committed term that means a person whosoever is reading it can identify it can make necessary can understand it that should not be like kitna complicated hai koi samajh nahi pa raha right when it comes to a particular vision vision is not written anywhere in any of the documents across any of the laws vision ki kahin pe requirement nahi padti hai beta तो बनाते क्यों है बना लेते हैं बस सो विजन इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड इन एनी ऑफ द एनुअल रिटर्न नाइ इन एनी ऑफ द बोर्ड रिपोर्ट बट दैट डू हैव सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट पर्पज इज एज वेल सो वॉट आज वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द पर्पज ऑफ विजन वॉट इज पर्पज ऑफ विजन और वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ विजन वेयर इफ विजन इज सपोज टू बी इम्पोर्टेंट क्लियरली प्रोवाइड्स इट क्लियरली प्रोवाइड्स द डायरेक्शन विच कंपनी इज फॉलो clearly provide the direction which company is following which company is following so that means where are we going that means that like the direction in which company is going right please pause over here pause after that they are going to identify identify the need of changing identify the need of changing from existing changing from existing direction that why you are changing your existing direction what's wrong with your existing direction uh, is that not that much effective enough what is wrong with the existing direction why you are changing it so you should identify that yes there is a need of changing the direction there is a need of changing the 
direction. So after that, create passionate environment. So Infosys is too much passionate about the mission 2050. Passionate environment. Passionate environment. If I talk about to create the passionate environment so that what will happen that if you basically come to know about that yes this is going to be our vision. Just like that these institutes, our institutes, they do have a vision. Okay, so after that create creativity create creativity in every member in every member of company in every member of company to prepare company for future so every member will come to know about and every member is going to contribute towards the company for the future of the company after that promote entrepreneurship promote entrepreneurship promote Right, so this is each and everything whatsoever was associated with the word vision that is over. That is over. Now, now we are moving towards that what do you understand by the term mission? What do we understand by the term mission? What is your mission? Mission over here does not mean mission impossible. Right, it does not mean mission impossible. Mission basically implies to, mission basically means the fundamental fundamental and enduring objectives of organization enduring objectives of organization of organization that sets it apart from other that Sets it apart from other organizations. Sets it apart from other organizations of similar nature. Of similar nature. So what does that mean? Beta, if you come to know about FMCG, you guys know about FMCG products, fast moving consumer goods. In this, you do have a lot of products. You have products from HUL. You have products from Amway. Right. You have products from so many companies. But you have products from Patanjali itself. Right. So how does a Patanjali is different from these products? How Patanjali is different from these similar company? That is your mission that you do carry something different as compared to the companies which are of similar nature that you are sitting somewhere apart from other organizations of the similar nature these companies are of similar nature but still we are different if Amway, HUL, Patanjali they are doing the same thing or else let me take you somewhere else if Pepsi, if Pepsi, Coke and Thumbs Up Everything is different, but thumbs up takes the thunder. They have needed a different thing using their mission. Takes the thunder. So they have made them made it totally different. When it comes to Pepsi, Coke, Coca-Cola, we don't know the difference between them. But although Pepsi carries a very high reputation in market, it carries very high recall value. Right? Moving ahead, should I go ahead? Yes, please. Follow it. Now, moving ahead. Mission. If I'll talk about mission. So, corporate mission that highlights the organizational self-concept and the nature of products to be offered for the fulfillment of the requirements of the customer. So, that whatsoever that a company should offer to the customers should make that company different from the companies of similar nature. Right? And that should also satisfy the demand of the customer as well. If I talk about mission, mission includes, let me summarize it properly. 
So mission includes definition of. So this company used to pro, uh, provide a particular product or service. Definition of product and service. And product and service which organization provides which organization provides so the product and services which the organization provides that is also defined by the mission statement and what is the technology just give me a moment okay the technology which they are using technology used for providing used for providing products which technology you are using to basically deliver your products to the customers that is also inclusive in the mission what are the types of markets which you basically cover types of markets which you cover can you find a difference between mission and vision? Difference for the silva beta, right? After that, customer need or requirement. Customer need or requirement. Customer need or requirement. After that, distinctive competencies. Distinctive competencies. How you are different from the other competitors which are available in the market. All these things they are included in the mission. That how you are different from others. I like you. There is no one in the world. That is your mission. How you are different from others. Right? Should I go ahead now? Now. Moving first. Okay, should I go ahead? Now, if I'll talk about, okay, leave it. Let me show you mission of a company. Wait, so what, Achha, Apple ka naam suna? Apple, Apple mobile phones? Ah, Apple, this is the current mission statement of Apple. See, the current mission statement of Apple, right? So, Apple design Max. So, what is the product? Talking about product, the best personal computers in the world along with OX Life. OX Life, I, OX and iLife. This is the technology which they use. The technology which they use. And after that, Apple leads the digital music evolution with its iPods and iTunes online store. Again, about the product. Apple has reinvented the mobile phone with its revolutionary iPhone and App Store and is defining the future of mobile phone media and computing the devices with iPad. Defining the future of mobile media. That means what is the market for which they are basically focusing on? It's mobile media. They are into mobile media. Then after that, this is just basically uh, a mission is not like itna sai nahi hota. It's too much elaborated. After that, what is going to be expected? What is the mission statement going to be expected? Apple is committed to bring the best personal computing experience to students, educators and creative professionals around the world through its innovative hardware, software and internet offerings. So this is all about that how a mission is basically stated which makes it distinctive, which makes Apple distinctive from others that is iOS, their supporting system. Smartphones carry Androids, they carry iOS. Right? Should I go ahead, Bitta? Now, moving ahead, talking about rest of the things. Talking about rest of the things. Let's do one thing then. Uh, um, sir, what is this? Uh, um, um, what is this? Just wait over here. Let me basically check something. Yeah? Now, moving on to the next thing. That why there is a need for different mission. Why that should be exclusive from anybody else. So each and every time you are going to make a particular mission, now this is not easy because everybody is going to read your mission and this is not easy. 
so this is first of all time consuming this is tedious and that is not required by any of the external body not even the government will ask you guys for that what is the mission of your company but this mission should re reflect the attitude outlook and orientation of your company of the organization so mission is no of no use then why we make it if mission is no more required then why that is required what we need to accomplish by making mission hasil kya karna chahte ho so to ensure the unanimity of purpose it provides a basis for motivating the use of resources that yes we want to be different from somewhere else, some from the rest of the competitors into the market we should be different from them after that there should be an organizational climate into that mode and to serve as a focal point who can identify the organizational purpose and direction it, it serves as a focal point from where the things move tata will move over there and maruti will move over there so it serves as a focal point right now you guys can note over here you guys can note moving on to next acha pause nahi kiya tha beta please pause over here pause now you guys can pause over here as well now we are done with the classroom now i'm wrapping up the classroom into the next class we are going to talk about objective and goal that what is the difference among both of them and after that we will be talking about the level of strategies that is going to be a really short class into the next class when we will be meeting and after that we will be wrapping up the classroom that next very soon and after that we will be left with almost like nothing now bye bye take care take care of yourself we'll catch you in next class bye